Two natural events had Twitter popping off last week, and we're gonna talk about them. There was an eclipse that crossed half of the United States and a small rumble that people in New York were calling an earthquake. There were funny memes, goofs, gaffs, and a news station showed a pair of testicles on live television. It gets crazy, I hope you enjoy the ride, and if you wanna check it out live sometime, I do this on twitch.tv slash stands. So watch the video, but then maybe tune into the stream sometime. Either way, let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, according to Bill Mahoney, for a lot of human history, an earthquake fall a few days later by a total eclipse would be taken as a pretty good sign of the end times. And while I don't necessarily believe the end times are coming, if there was ever an end times that needed to come, I think that end times would be right about now. This is the funniest tweets about the earthquake and the eclipse, starting with the earthquake. Let's get into it. Attention! That was not an earthquake in New Jersey. I just like to get a little morning sex now and then. Everyone relax and get back to normal. My fault. Is this the actual iced tea? Like the rapper turned Law and Order SVU actor? This is the actual iced tea. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Bro, 27,000 likes for that? I think I saw maybe 500 people tweet this same thing. Ice tea, let me get some subversion, you know? Change it up on us. I was talking to my psychiatrist when the earthquake hit, but I didn't want her to put me on antipsychotics, so I just didn't acknowledge it. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine you're like, fuck, what if this is in my head? And I really don't want to. <laughs> Did she start scribbling madly when you didn't react? Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Also, props to the psychiatrist for not reacting themselves. That's someone who takes their profession uh, very seriously. Can we talk about how New Yorkers were weenies about this earthquake? And I understand that LA people are weenies about a tiny bit of rain, but it was just a little tiny shake and people were losing their mind, man. Can you imagine how humiliating this would be for us if the Californians were awake? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was awake. Hello? You can only react if it's above five. Ooh, that's kind of a good. I do think that 4.5 is probably the barrier for like being a cool earthquake, Chad. You know how sometimes when you're riding like a subway or something, you can like stand there without using the bar and that shows that you're like a cool New Yorker. I think it's the same thing with earthquakes where below a 4.5, you don't hold the bar. You don't tweet about it. You go, oh, was that an earthquake? Couldn't tell. Slept right through it. If I were in New York, I would assume the subway was caving in. Yeah, that tracks. Your dad makes my earthquake and he's not small. Very nice. New York had a mini earthquake and I already know these motherfuckers are gonna yap about it for weeks. <laughs> this rules. This is the fastest merch turnaround I've ever seen in my life. I survived the New York City earthquake April 2024. I should buy this. Wait, this actually rules. I lived through the NYC rumble and the LA 7.1 shaker. This guy's an earthquake aficionado. Maybe I am the boy who cried wolf here, but I feel like we've had so many earthquakes that you kind of just like ride the lightning. I've streamed through a couple of them. In LA, I was in the door frame and praying. I respect that. I was renting a house in Westchester, Los Angeles when it hit, and the master bedroom was like an add-on that the owners had built. And after the earthquake, we separated from the rest of the house. There was probably like a one centimeter gap where you could see sunlight going through and like ants could get in and shit. So to be fair, maybe I should be more wary of earthquakes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to tell you that today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Maybe you're getting into manscaping. Maybe you don't know what to do and you need a guru like me to walk you through it. I was once like you and then I got Manscaped. I got the lawnmower. I got the crop preserver. I got the crop smoother. And since then, I have been absolutely Honestly, I'm gonna say it, I've been beautiful. I've been beautiful down there. Not only is it lightweight and easy to charge, it has a built-in light on there so you can see exactly where you're shaving, even if you're in the dark. Maybe you don't want people to know that you're shaving. Maybe you're trying to surprise someone, give them a little treat. I mentioned the Crop Preserver earlier. That is a ball deodorant to make sure that no matter what you're doing through the day, you are staying fresh. And of course, the Crop Soother. Some people have more sensitive skin than others. Not everyone can just do a nice close shave and walk around afterwards. But if you use the Crop Soother, you too will be able to do honestly whatever you want out of the house so if you want to try manscaped if you want to be like me or honestly if you want to be better than me use code stands at checkout and you will get 20 percent off and free shipping that's code stands at checkout you can clean up everywhere you can clean up your your i can i can say it i can say it in this ad because they're a cool sponsor you can clean your balls you can clean your face you can shave your head you can shave a slit in your eyebrow 
Just use code STANDS on Manscaped when you're checking out and you will get 20% off, free shipping, and you will be better than you used to be. Back to the video. Some Mormon s**king just had an unreal time. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, what is the most earthquake prone region in the world? The Mormons should move there. Is there anywhere, you know how Old Faithful erupts at the same time every day? They can set a schedule by it. Are there anywhere at places in the world where like that happens but with earthquakes? Because then Mormons could just go there and you could kind of schedule out your non-sex, let's call it. I guess choppy seas would make it good. Iceland has something like that. All right, send all the Mormons to Iceland. Get them out of Utah. I've, I've wanted them out for a while. We survived the NYC earthquake. We will rebuild. <laughs> I would feel bad if there was actually any damage, but I don't, I don't think there was any damage. It's more likely that this was knocked over by like a teenager at a certain point. We will rebuild. <laughs> hey, talk your shit, New Yorkers. Turns out 4.8 actually is pretty big. Ooh, good number. Very funny. And they were maybe the first one out with this at 7.46 a.m. on April 5th. 40,000 likes. Wish it was me. That's just lucky New Yorkers. Easily impressed. Sometimes they don't even feel a 5.0 here in Cali. <laughs> Does this guy not understand the joke? <laughs> Does he not get the... It's dick, dick size, man. Sorry, you're not feeling a lot of 5.0s here in Cali, Eric? He's a cannabis and entertainment enthusiast, so... What are you gonna do? You think he's also making a dick joke? Maybe he is. About to, did you just feel that earthquake my way back into her life? <laughs> you ever need an opening? It's like, this is a perfect opportunity, huh? Oh man, did you feel that? By the way, you free Friday? <laughs> you want to feel it again? Don't say that. Don't say you want to feel it again, because I don't think that any of you in this chat could provide 4.8 magnitude worth of thrust. Just saying. Keeping it cool during an earthquake so my girl doesn't get the ick. Oh, do... <laughs> okay. I was gonna ask, do people get the ick from this? But I just visualized a moment where a significant other would like, ah! And then like, go run away. I do think that the hardest part about being a man is keeping it cool during an earthquake. Did you like my earthquake? Oh, like my <laughs> Add getting to the ick, uh, get earthquake prevention giving women the ick to the list. <laughs> Texting my girl on the East Coast. Are you safe? Can't imagine how scary that earthquake must have been for you. Texting my girl in the Midwest. LOL, what babies? Drink any new canned beer lately? Texting the mole people leader. They don't suspect anything, my master. <laughs> Dude, that's actually funny as hell. <laughs> we'll ride from below to take back what the service dwellers stole. There was an episode of a cartoon called Hey Arnold, where he goes down into the sewer and they meet like a group of, I believe them to be rat people. And that shit kind of fucked me up as a kid. Oh, they met the sewer king, but I thought, I thought there was other people in there. Maybe, oh, the sewer king controlled the rats. Oh, and Arnold had to play chess. I will say that I was definitely scared by that kind of stuff as a child. You think you're dramatic? Manhattan wasn't in the path of totality for the eclipse, so it had to remain character itself with a whole earthquake. <laughs> this is fine, but I, my problem with this is that boomers would share this like unironically. Like there is a way to say this that is funny, and there is a way to share this that is the least funny thing that your uncle has ever shared on Facebook, the platform. And so you have to be careful, but I appreciate you, Emma. I very much appreciate you. Oh, we're into eclipse talk now. For those that are gonna miss the eclipse on Monday, I've created a simulation of what the eclipse will look like along the path of totality. 174,000 likes? The Pokemon fans showing up? Hold. Oh. Oh. Chat, don't look. You're not supposed to stare directly at an eclipse. That's crazy that this has that many likes. Can I say that? Can I put it out there? This doesn't have to make the YouTube video. That shit wasn't funny. That shit wasn't funny. Come on. Don't plus two him. Come on. I was trying to give him anything. Give me some sound. Give me some music. Give me anything. You have to have both so it's impressive. Doesn't Most people have both because you need both to get all the Pokemon, dude. What are we talking about here? Today, I will be staring directly at the sun to absorb its powers. How many... Okay, this is a question from me. What is the difference between eclipse glasses and regular glasses? Like, could I actually just wear multiple pairs of sunglasses or even one pair of sunglasses and be fine? Or do those eclipse glasses do something special? 
because it looks just like the glasses you would get in a movie theater for a shitty 3D movie, and they don't look like they would protect you. They're darker than welding gear? Really? It's not the brightness of the sun that'll fuck up your eyes, it's the UV rays. Uh. Eye doctors after inventing the solar eclipse. See, if that Pokemon guy had had some cool music in the background, I think I would have loved it. This pog is hell. They did it. Good at it. I was watching the news on the eclipse this morning and they had a live feed at a school in Mazatlan, Mexico. Safe to say the teachers should have kept a close eye, no pun intended, on their students using the equipment. Here you go. Wait, is this a telescope? Our cast is absolutely gorgeous, complete. He's got a piece of paper. He's looking at the camera. Oh, <laughs> he blinded himself. Dude, it gets him right in the eye. Oh no. Why did he, why did he do that? Oh, he's trying to do like, uh, what do you call it? Like the projection imaging where the sun goes in there and it's mirrored onto the paper. Oh no, is he blinded? He's like talking to the teacher. Stands when Jay Schlatt brings out the 10 million lumen flashlight. I'm telling you, I think 10 million lumens more than whatever this is. Warning, explicit. <laughs> Wait, really? Mexican news station RCG Media accidentally shows tentacles instead of solar eclipse. Can I watch this? Lerdo. Eh, Nasas también en, en el municipio de Durango. Torreón. Monclova. Musquis. ¿Dónde está tu familia? <laughs> Yo, they just do it. They just said, Kant's probably told me in the text, like, don't show this on screen, just go full screen. Um, how can I describe this? And he's like, oh, we got it. Let's go to our, let's go to our live reporter. He's, he's on the ground here. Okay, where's our live reporter? And you see the sun. Now, while we are not going to go forward, the balls eclipse the sun and it's very hairy. It's very hairy. And the fact that this is on TV is crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'll link you in chat. I'll link you in chat. One hangs lower than the other. That's normal, though. That's for temperature control reasons. Imagine being ripped out of your comfortable life by a higher being and getting exposed to the glory of the cosmos and then immediately getting put back. Wait, this is from an account that I blocked? Good Reddit. Oh, what is this? Man shows a clips to his fish. <gasps> he even put little glasses on his fish? And then the response makes sense. Imagine being ripped out of your comfortable life by a higher being and getting exposed to the glory of the cosmos and then immediately getting put back. It's literally the same as the um, Lovecraftian horrors, right? Cthulhu sends you into the future. He, he opens your brain and you realize there's more dimensions and your puny ant brain can't even comprehend. Nah, fish equality, we ain't higher beings. Hey, I'm gonna say it. We're higher beings than fish. When the edible hitting, yeah. It's like that feeling of when you eat an edible and you're sitting down watching a movie and nothing happens and you're like, well, I guess that didn't work. And then you stand up and your entire body is heavy and you can't move. You guys ever have that happen? Just me? <laughs> Eclipse got me thinking about how long the moon waited to kiss the sun and that's how long I'd wait for you. This is so fucking cringe. You better stop me before I send this to him. I hate this. This is exactly how people who duo Q and Valorant talk to each other. And I know that because this is exactly how Ludwig talks to me now when we duo Q Valorant. It's so fucking annoying. He's like a his carry her healer guy. You know what I mean? It's it's not shit that I like. Midnight sent this to Kanth. I do believe that. I do believe that. Wow, the my eyes hurt Google trend is real, not just a meme. Oh no, check out that spatial distribution too. It follows the path of the eclipse. That's so sad. <laughs> Don't look at the, I mean, I looked at it quickly, but looking at the eclipse is just like looking at the sun. And looking at the sun is bad for your eyes. And the thing about the eclipse is it's easier to look at than the sun, and it's just as bad for your eyes. I looked at it, it hurt, then got two sunglasses and still hurt. That's so funny. You needed the four sunglasses from the meme earlier. This, <laughs> this, my friend who looked at the eclipse without glasses. I haven't seen Madam Web yet. Is this real? Is this how she starts telling the future? They cover her eyes? That's so funny. <laughs> Boring at eclipse. <laughs> Family guy sucks so bad. 
I will say that I went to an Eclipse live stream. I was on stream in Mexico and it took a long time for the Eclipse to like be full. And I do think that at this point in the Eclipse, it is a little boring. You see like the sliver covered and you're like, hey, come on, man. Can we, can we get this moving? I'm only here to see a full totality. The solar eclipse explained for Gleeks. Wait, do we have a Glee meme? Is it in the zeitgeist? The winner takes it all. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> She's just outshining him. This is a terrible fuck. How many likes does this have? 7,000 likes? I get that it's, she's like shadowing him. She's like uh, overshadowing him, taking over the show. But I feel like it, she doesn't stand there for long enough. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for more Glee-based memes, maybe check out my podcast, Binge and Cringe. If you're looking for more Eclipse or Earthquake-based memes, I don't have any for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Good classic meme day. Wowee.